Well, again, I'd like to welcome you guys back to another episode of my C7 Corvette channel. And I am the host, John Chef. Outside, I'll let you guys take a look at some of the upgrades I did. A little small upgrades, and nothing significant. Just some lights I added to my vehicle. When you open your door, this light comes out, shines on the ground. I have to do this video at night so you guys can, can see the light. That light's there on the, on the door there. That little light there. That little panel there. As you can see that. It's, it's powered by... Uh, uh, three uh, triple A batteries. Uh, this that uh, is not included. Okay, this little gadget here, it comes with its own power, its own battery power here, I and mean, it goes right, right there into the door, door well, and it comes on and goes off by itself. And it changes to uh, different colors. Just a little something I add, you know, get it a little bit more special, special touch. I think this thing here, I think you get to, you have to uh, click it and come on by itself like that. Once you uh, close the door, it clicks off. And so when you open the door again, if you're trying to, you know, trying to show off a yell. As a show or something like that, you just click it and then, uh, or click it, click it before you get out of it and it comes out and the little, little, little Corvette, um, emblem, em, emblem uh, pops up on the ground. So it's a light, and uh, I think that was about, I think each one of these products was like about uh, forty dollars a piece or something like that. And you get them at Boom, Boom Car. B L O O M car C A R dot com and uh, you know that you know they, they ship it to you. That's a little thing I add add to my vehicle. It came on that time by itself. You see. I have, uh, I have that on each side, each side of my, my vehicle. You can't see that one, that one too good because the light, it's the light outside here in the parking lot. Just a little light, something, something special to add to my to my vehicle. Like I say, if you guys want that on your car, on your vehicle, your Corvette, just go to the, the Boom Car, the Boom Car dot com. T H E B L O O M Car C A R dot com, and uh, you can get this. Uh, you get these little gadgets, you know, for your for your vehicle and I also have some stuff too for your um for your you know inside of, for the interior also so, you know which if, if you want your interior to be lit up at night as you drive you know your you, foot foot your uh, foot well you can also get lights for that and uh, you can also get lights too that goes up on your goes up under your vehicle if you want to have you know want to ride down the road with lights up on your vehicle man they have lights for your tires and all that kind of stuff too. 
Again, that's at uh, theboomcall.com. <sighs> it is cold right here. And as some of you may know, uh, may not know, uh, the other day, uh, GM, uh, GM issued a uh, storm letter, a uh, D A A D M letter to the dealership that's doing all this uh, price gouging, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna see it. It might take it might take a minute for that to. Uh, to, for that to come into play or come into effect, see what they're gonna do about this price gouging and you know, all the other uh, C8 Corvette. You know, the, uh, G, uh, GM issued them a warning because they're in violation of policy by uh, over overcharging or double charging uh, for that uh, particular model, uh, you know, the C8 uh, base model. Something, something because, like I said in previous videos, they have different programs and different models for, for uh, you know, different price uh, budgets. And so, in, in doing so, and you know, when you, when you do something like that, you you, you get things out of rack. And uh, like I said, if you want to pay more for a uh, you know a Corvette, they got different uh, different models where you can do so. You know, including the Zeno Z51, you're gonna pay a little bit more money to Z51. And, and now we got the Z06 coming out. And, uh, and, 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 and then you have the different, uh, you know, the different uh, levels of, 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 of the Corvette that, that, that you know, that, that, that's more expensive than, than the old one, you know, such as the uh, 1LT and uh, 2L, uh, 2LT and 3LT. And, and and those you know with those different uh, models uh, different upgrades uh, cost you had to pay more money too uh, without them uh, you know trying to double charge or overcharge for uh, one particular model. So they had programs in place you know if you wanted to pay more money for a Corvette that you can do so. And by by GM, you know, uh, I mean not not GM, but the uh, dealership by the dealerships uh, double charging, up charging, or whatever you want to call it, uh, it's getting things out of getting things out of out of rack. You know, it, it don't make any sense to pay uh, you know a hundred thousand dollars for a uh, a base model uh, uh, one LT Corvette. Uh, uh, when the L, uh, when the three LT model is, uh, is, uh, is a hundred, it's a hundred thousand dollars. Uh, and then he, he, you all want to charge a hundred thousand or a hundred ten, a hundred eight just for the, just for the base model of one LT. When actually GM is, uh, uh, uh selling that for, uh, six, five thousand. And the convertible, I think it's like uh, seventy-eight, uh, seventy-nine thousand for it. So you can think they get they get things out of whack by doing that. So GM has, has uh, issued a storm storm warning uh, to the dealership so for doing that. So let's hope uh, let's hope that uh, does something to the market and bring bring these prices back down to. Because GM, you know, when GM uh, manufactures and produces a vehicle, uh, they produce it and manufacture it to fit all budgets. And uh, so if, if everybody, you know, if you if you hardworking man and you know you got your own business or you just you got a good job, good position, you know, you should be able to uh, afford and own yourself a uh, Corvette. And they had different levels, uh, different models for that. And by them charged overcharging like that, yeah, that sort of that put things out of wreck. Well, this is John Shaft. This is my C7 Corvette channel, where all things are Corvette.
and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put a link in the description if you want to get that uh, these particular lights you can order them I put a link in the description of the website now the light there on the door does not come on automatically you know, sometimes it does sometimes it don't but that's the it actually cuts off so if you're just trying to show off you know you just you just hit the little click and then the light light come on <laughs> i think that, i thought that was pretty neat when i saw it and this is john shaft this is my c7 corvette channel i ask you to hit the like button share button subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you will know when I am doing a upload. And it is cold out here. But I see you guys again in the next video upload. Thank you for watching. this time to welcome you all back to another episode of my C7 Corvette channel and I am the host John Shack. Today's highlight is, is on the C8.0 Corvette. And as you may know, GM is coming out with a uh, new model called the Z06, which is a what the book of the C8.0 format. So, in other words, Z06 is a race car for the street and it is a legal race car for the street now the c8 point r is actually the race car and the racing team is actually called corvette And the car has different models that represent the Corvette. Starting from a base model, Stingray. And then next up you will have the Z51. And the Z in front of the number stands for performance and next up you have the Grand Sports which is no longer uh, in existence for the C8 model and the high the performance or high performance of the Grand Sports will be the Z06 again the Z in front of the number stands for performance and after the Z06 then you have the uh, ZR1 now I'm not speaking from the new models but I'm speaking from the C7 because all of the new models of the C8 has yet to be manufactured and revealed so I have to go off of the C7 uh, lineup 
and so the, the top model for the Corvette Pass uh, C7 is the ZR1. And they all take their clues and performance and design from the C8.R racing team Corvette. Now they're coming out, uh, we've, been, we've been surprised with rumors of a GT3 point R, which is a Z06, which represents the Z06, or actually it's a higher grade, a higher performance grade than the Z06, uh, just like the uh, C.8, uh, C.8R that came out for the base model. We wanted to be surprised with the GT3 point R uh, as a, a special special edition uh, and it should be uh, above uh, more, more of a performance vehicle uh, than the uh, Z06. And at this time and point I don't know if that's going to be a standard model or is that going to just be a special edition but we do know and hear about rumors of a GT3 point off that's coming out soon and we also had rumors of the GT3 point off may be a manual vehicle and if so that, was, that is going to be a significant and great uh, surprise for all of you old school uh, Corvette lovers that loves a manual vehicle, including myself. This is John Schaff, and this is my C7 Corvette channel, where all things are Corvette. Stop dreaming and start driving your new Corvette. I ask you to hit the like button, share button, and subscribe to my channel. And hit the notification button so you will know when I am doing a upload. Next and say is ownership like the Chevy Corvette. And as some of you may know and may not know, the local uh, union there in Green, Bowling Green, is unhappy with their contract uh, with GM. And they have been authorized to strike against GM. And if this takes place, it's going to be another yet set to lay in the build and reap and production of the C8 Corvette. We already went through one strike with this car, with this vehicle. Uh, we went through the pandemic. We went through a tornado. We went through a fire. We went through supply and demand issues, and now there are rumors of another strike looming in the air, causing yet another delay for the CA for that.
Uh, again, I am the host, John Schaff, and you are viewing another episode of 